Hello, uh, it's your girl Tiffany, and I'm watching Black Beauty, your poetic psychic Pisces, High Priestess, aka the light that shines like a diamond, also known as your modern day nun, one whom is a within a coven, a convent, or a covenant. I do thank you all for listening and for watching on today. If you would be so kind to please like, share, and subscribe, it would be greatly, greatly appreciated. This is going to be a general reading for the overall collective of any zodiac sign. So please take the messages that apply, leave the ones that do not. Remember that this reading may apply to your past, your present, or your future, as well as it may be pertaining to you or any and everyone in between that you may or may not know. With that being said, guys, we are going to get started. I do hope y'all are doing well and feeling well on tonight, okay? So look, y'all, let me start off by telling y'all this, okay? Y'all need to be careful of who you trust. When I tell y'all to be careful of who you trust, be careful of the company you keep, okay? Be careful of people who are around you as well as your children. I mean that, okay? It's the people who is closest to you that will set you up. People who will look you dead in your face and tell you or uh, offer you a bald face ass lie and tell you that they love you that will stab you in your back, honey. Okay. Now, many of y'all are aware that my birthday was on yesterday, right? Okay. So, just like any other day, um, the entire day was spent alone. I don't have no friends, no family, no lover, none of that. Okay. But, um, as y'all know, I'm a targeted individual. So I knew they was randomly at some point in time going to have one of the uh, ops, one of the pay ops, to pop up on announce at my house. And sure enough, they did, y'all. They showed up at 6.06 p.m. on the dot. Okay? Now, if it wasn't, it wasn't bad enough that I was born on 3.6. Okay? But you show up at 6.6. Okay. Satanic powers that be numbers. Mark of the beast that's numbers. Like I'm boo-boo the goddamn fool or some shit. Okay? I smoothed and answered my door on purpose. Okay? And then I'm looking, you come over here with some shit that you ain't never done before, off of before. You come with some cupcakes. Now, the interesting thing about the cupcakes is not only have you never bought me no cupcakes before, or even made me no cupcakes before, um, this person in particular, I know bakes, okay? But you didn't, you, you brought some cupcakes, okay? Them cupcakes was tainted. They were drugged. They were poisoned. They had some type of uh, demonic spell or ritual cast upon over them, Okay? Like I was going to be stupid enough to eat some shit from some people who are working the fuck against me. That I know full well is working against me. 364 days out the year. I don't see from you, hear from you, talk to you, uh, any damn thing like that. And you pop up randomly bearing gifts. Which they've been having these ops to do uh, more now. Like my entire life, you never did such a thing. For the last, going on 11 years now, 10 years now that I'm aware of, I'm a targeted individual. I've been having these people come in and act like, and it's still, it's not frequently, it's, 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 it's randomly. And we, it's, it's twice a year. For those as closest to me, or that like live in the same state as I do. Okay, Christmas and birthday. Coming with your toxic, cursed ass gifts. Okay. Things that these people have never done before in the entirety of my life. Okay, these are the same people who to sabotage your job, sabotage your car, sabotage your life, put curses and spells over your love life, over your finances, over your home, over your children, over your health and your well-being. Doing beauty spells and glamour spells and make these be people who are, who are jealous and envious of you, who are working against you for the purposes of money. Who, betray, who have betrayed you, who have stabbed you in your back, who are trying to sacrifice you, but want to play up in your face randomly when it's the fuck convenient for them. Okay? Be careful who you trust. Be careful who you allow in your circle. Be careful who you allow in your personal space. Okay? Because the enemy don't have to look rugged or nasty or dirty or slouchy or sloppy. Or anything like that. Those of you who assume that Lucifer is 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 uh, this this ugly looking uh, uh, 
beast of a creature with a pitchfork is just foolish. Lucifer this was said to be one of the most high, most beautiful angels. Okay? For more than one reason. Okay? It wasn't it wasn't until humans made a depiction of Lucifer. As being all red with horns and pitchforks and the awfulest, evilest thing that you can ever see. See, Lucifer got the ability to be handsome or beautiful. Lucifer got the ability to be uh, 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 masculine or feminine. So that enemy, what I'm telling you is that enemy... Don't have to look like what you would assume to be an enemy to get over on you. Them folks showed up at 606. I said, they must think I'm a fool. You must think I'm a fool. And then you come in over here with cursed ass objects for me to take. If it's money from the moment you spend that money, that curse is evoked. First of all, it's a portion of the curse that's evoked just by you accepting anything from them, from the transference of energy from their hands to yours. If it's money that, that, that curse is evoked from the moment that you spend that money. If it's food from the moment that you eat that food. Either a curse has been placed upon it, it has been poisoned, it has been drugged. It's meant to kill you or to harm you in some type of way. The money not only will curse your finances, the finances that you already have, as well as any finances that is due to come in to you. That's what money spells and magic and, and, and different things is done for when you want to curse somebody else's finances, stability and security and different things like that. Clothing items, jewelry, trinkets, whatnot, furniture, any damn thing to have any type of uh, attachment on it. Curse upon it. Okay. Y'all be careful. The people closest to you will be the very ones that will set you up. Let's get into this reading. So we have the Wheel of Fortune here in the upright here. This speaks to prosperity, abundance, luck, stability, security. Okay. Some of you could be having some better luck at this time. Or somebody is hoping to be lucky in a situation here. Somebody could be very defensive. You feel like you need to protect yourself, okay, from other persons, okay? I feel like you have clear vision. You're making wise decisions. You know what direction you are going in as you move forward here, especially when it comes to partnerships and relationships that you have with people, Spirit is saying. This will of fortune could have something to do with you receiving some type of justice. Some type of justice going in your favor here. You could be defensive and, and protecting yourself. Um, as it relates to some type of family. In-laws. This could be any family. Marriage. This could be you... Defending yourself, protecting yourself within a marriage or within a family dynamic of some kind here. But I see you as being very strong, standing your ground to over to to standing your ground to to um, standing your ground against your oppressors, your haters, your naysayers. Okay, you having courage and strength. As you move forward here. Yeah. I feel like the wise decisions that you, that you are making. The actions that you are taking in your life. Has to do with you knowing the truth and clarity. Okay. Yeah. You're definitely making wise decisions 
as it relates to who you partner up with, who you team up with, who you close with, who you are in any relations with, okay? Because you know that there is strife. You know that there is jealousy. There is envy. There is hatefulness. There is spitefulness. There is uh, retaliation, punishment, payback, revenge of some kind that persons may be seeking here. Yeah, you're the high priestess here. So you could be highly intuitive, wise, enlightened, psychic. You have a multitude of different talents, skills, or abilities, or qualifications about yourself here. But you're someone who is highly intuitive. So we'll clarify this little fortune in the justice card. Some type of judgment or decision has been made here, okay? This could be, uh, obviously, some type of legal decision or legal matter pertaining to this will of fortune, okay? Pertaining to uh, some type of abundance or prosperity, we're going to clarify nine of wands. You're very defensive as it relates to a family, a marriage, a commitment of some kind here because of the magician card here. You could be aware that there's some type of magic that is being done. Witchcraft, sorcery, black magic, voodoo, hoodoo, hexes, curses, spells, evil eyes, centuria, root work, or any other dark demonic form, uh, practices or forms of witchcraft here, Okay. But you have a lot of different possibilities. You do have options. You do have multiple choices that you can choose from as to how you want to move forward in your life here. Yeah. You're making decisions that you are making. Okay. Because you know the truth. You know clarity. And and, and, and people have they abandoned you. They neglected you. They left you out in the cold. They left you with a lack of finances, money, resources, stability, security. Okay? Yeah. But there's some type of... There's a large windfall of, of uh, finances, money, and resources that is coming in for you here with the Ten of Pentacles here. You jump from the Five of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. Now, there's the, the, the Ten of Pentacles is actually sitting on the Two of Cups and the Five of Wands. So there could be some type of love that is coming into your life, some type of partnership or relationship that is coming into your life. And there's a lot of jealousy, envy, hatred, spitefulness, and competition because of this. But I see you being very grounded, stable, and secure here. But you are, you are very much intuitive, wise, aware, enlightened. To this betrayal, to this disloyalty, to this sabotage, to this ruin, to a to, uh, person stabbing you in your back here. Which is why you are defensive the way you are. Which is why you feel the need to protect your person, yourself. Spirit clarify the will of fortune, justice, and judgment. There could be some people upset that this will of fortune is turning in your favor here. There are some people who are furious, who are mad as hell about this. It's very clarifying. Yeah, they mad because they were trying to rob you of something. Steal something from you. Take something. Yeah, this could be your own your own supposed family. Now, these some of these people, some of this is why I told y'all what I told y'all in the beginning. This is sitting here with the, the help card here. Mercy, charity, donations here. Now you got family coming towards you acting like they want to be giving unto you. But these are the same people that was doing rituals, ceremonies, spell work, mysteries, and magic on you. Okay? Yeah, you can't trust these people no further. You can throw them. Okay? Spirit, so clarify the will of fortune, justice, and judgment for us, please. They've been strategizing, plotting, planning, and scheming in all types of ways. They tried to make you homeless, Spirit is saying. They try to tempt you, persuade you, bribe you. But you're in this calm energy, this inner, inner peaceful energy here. That card popped out again. There are people who are furious, who are mad as hell, that this will of fortune is, is in the upright and turning in your favor. Spirit, what else is going on? Yeah, this is the reason why these people are trying to bribe you and tempt you and persuade you in some type of way, Spirit is saying, with this endorsement here. Okay? But I feel like you're someone who has bright ideas of some kind. 
You have many different possibilities. You're standing your ground. Like I said, you have courage. You have faith. You have strength. Yeah, these people, you know these people have collaborated against you. They came up with all type of ideas on how to collaborate against you, how to bribe you, how to tempt you, how to persuade you here. Then I tell you, these people have cursed you, tried to try to curse, have cursed you, your finances, your love life, your stability, your security, your home, your health, your well-being, your children, and any and everything else that they possibly could out of hatred to cause catastrophe and misfortune to you. Okay? Because they're mad. That this will of fortune is in the upright and is turning in your favor. Some of these people could have uh, even been trying to uh, uh, could have been trying to hurt you or harm you in multiple different ways, shape, form, and fashion. They could have been trying to make you ill in some type of way here. Yeah, this judgment, this decision, this justice here, this will of fortune. This has to do with uh, some type of reward, some type of f uh, fortune. Okay, some type of jackpot even this says here. Damn, this card that came out of, back out again. These people been doing all type of witchcraft, sorcery, black magic, voodoo on you, okay? You're feeling very defensive against these people because you know this is going on here, okay? You're defensive towards these people because you know that they're trying to sabotage your luck. They're trying to sabotage your blessings, okay? Yeah, you've lived and you learned, Spirit is saying. Yeah, these people try to trap you, victimize you, allure you, trick you, spirit is saying. So what else is going on here? Okay. Stability, harmony, acceptance here. You're going to be okay. You're going to be just fine without them. Okay. They weren't worried about you when they abandoned you, when they neglect neglected you, when they left you out in the call, when they sabotaged you, when they stabbed you in your back. When they left you with a lack of finances, money, resources. When they left you to and, and allowed you to juggle and to struggle. When you had a lack of support, a lack of help, a lack of guidance. They weren't worried about you, okay? There is some type of marriage here that they have tried to block. That people are jealous of. There could even be a married couple. There could even be a married couple who have worked in collaborations with others against you that have tried to trap you, that's doing the spell work on you, okay? But there are new adventures of passions, okay, coming in for you. These people collaborated together to cast some type of curse on you, to cause you to have some type of accident, to cause you to be in danger, to have cautions, to, to be injured in some type of way. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, these people are in some type of commitment, some type of binding contract in order to gain something here. And they are indulging with one another in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion, spirit is saying. But yeah, they sold, a, what this looked like is they sold out, sold, they sold. They under some type of contract. They could have offered you up as some type of sacrifice in this contract or something like that or whatever. But these are people who are in some type of binding contract in order to gain something. Okay? This is the reason why they have been vigorously attacking you. The way that they have been doing, Spirit is saying. You are an introvert. You to yourself, you by yourself. Okay? You are aware of the betrayal. You're aware of the disloyalty. Sir, so what's going on with this Will of Fortune, Justice, Judgment, and Luck? Will of Fortune, Justice, Judgment, and Luck, please. A lot of toxic people working against you. Poisonous, toxic. Somebody could have even tried to poison you, Spirit of Sin. Yeah, this has to do with some type of financial support. You're winning some type of something in court. It's very clear about this nine of wands, four of wands. Yeah. This got something to do with uh, some type of legal situation, legal matter here, okay? Spirit, what else is going on? 
A lot of gossip. Out of jealousy, out of envy. That is going on as well. Okay? You could be seeing the signs and the synchronicities all around you, Spirit is saying. You could be seeing 11-11, uh, 2-2-2, or any other synchronicities. See, these people want retaliation, punishment, payback, revenge on you. This is the reason why they've been working together uh, against you. Somebody wants to come together with you, though. I'm kind of suspicious of them, though, but because it seems to amaze me, like, how you all of a sudden want to be with somebody, love somebody, desire to have somebody, desire to be in a life with somebody when they come into some money. But you didn't want them when they had nothing, right? But now we're saying you want to pop up and you want, like, I'm suspicious of that, too. I don't care who they are, how good they look or how much money they got. That don't mean absolutely nothing to me. Just because a person got a lot of money don't mean that they're going to they gonna love you, they're going to respect you, and they're going to do right by you. So I don't care nothing about none of that. Yeah. Y'all own family try to entrap y'all for money, y'all. Now they want retaliation, punishment, payback, revenge on you. Your, your supposed family. Okay? Yeah. Who pretend the spirit is saying. They fake, funny, fraudulent, untrue. They like living beyond their means. Spirit is saying. Yeah. You've had an ascension. Okay? You are ascending, transcending. You're on your spiritual path. Your life purpose. Your spiritual journey. Fulfilling your destiny. Okay? You've had an awakening. Yeah, with this pressure cooker here, somebody ready to explode. Because these people are trying to entra entrap you for money here. Okay? They've had this obsession with you. You might even get somebody that pop up spontaneously, unexpectedly, surprise visit all of a sudden out the blue. Okay? Divine feminine here. There's also some type of partnership or relationship with a particular masculine that these people are jealous, envious, and intimidated of, and that they have they have tried to block, they've tried to stop here, okay? But there, there we have happiness here, happiness, wholeness, overjoyed, smiling here, okay? I'm just I'm 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 really kind of skeptical about this person though, okay? I'm like, if you love this person, if you care about this person, if you desire this person, should nothing and nobody have kept you from this person? Why then do you only want to show up? And I don't want to hear nothing about no divine timing as shit, okay? Because why then you do you then only want to show up when somebody comes into some type of abundance? Now, if some woman all of a sudden, if you came into a large amount of abundance or something like that, and some woman pops up in your life and just act like she just loved you to death, you would swear for down she was a gold digger. Why are you not popping up in this person's life until this, this, um... This person is receiving some type of justice, some type of justice in this legal situation pertaining to some type of financial support. And then all of a sudden, here come the love of your life that you ain't never had. Like, you know what I'm saying? I pay attention to stuff like this. Like, this is, you know. But there's some type of settlement here. These people ultimately betrayed you. Your own supposed family tried to entrap you for money here, for this settlement here. And they want some type of retaliation, punishment, payback, revenge on you. Never mind the fact that they got more than you. You don't understand what I'm saying? They literally thought that, that you know what I'm saying? You're supposed to have nothing, but they're supposed to have everything. These people are wearing a facade. They fake funny and fraudulent as they come. They, they're wearing a mask. They're not who they appear to be. They stunting. They fronting. So what else? These people are in their south node. Somebody may be apologetic, but they not they, and, and won't forgive this. They're not apologetic. They just sorry that they didn't got caught up, that they didn't got found out that you know the truth. And that they and they know because you know the truth, you ain't gonna never deal with them no more. So they can't even come in and mooch off of you and act like, oh, I always loved you. I was always there for you after you received this money. See, that's the reason why they feel in some type of way. Because they that's the reason why they never wanted you to know that they was the ones that was working the fuck against you. But now you know. So I'm going in your favor. So now they can't they can't come tag along with that. Come cling on to you. 
with what's coming in for you because they deceive you, okay? So we got open to receive here. You're open to receive. You're going to be receiving something, Spirit is saying. These people left you in lack. They left you in doubt. This is the reason, and you remember this. This is the reason why you are defensive and feel like you need to protect yourself. You need to release, surrender, and purge the situation with these people. Okay? Yeah, there's been a completion of a cycle, a change, an ending to these wretched as uh, so-called families. Okay? Yeah. Things have changed. These people are spying, watching, and inspecting you in some type of way, shape, form, or fashion, spirit is saying. Okay? I'm telling you, there is some type of chemistry that is, that, that is creeping in for you, okay? But take a long, good long time to get to know this person because I'm not even sure if I trust them, to be quite honest with you. But you're having some type of epiphanies and breakthroughs in your life, spirit is saying. Some type of epiphany and breakthrough in your life. There could be an earth sign with this ace of earth here. This says apology, forgiveness here. There could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, who who uh, wants to apologize to you, wants your forgiveness in some type of way. But this is somebody I feel like they worked against you as well. This person, whoever this earth sign is, may have some type of chemistry or passion for you or desire you or something like that or whatever. This, I feel like this person went along with the this BS here, okay? So we got celebrations, gifts, and abundance here. Yeah, we got Mars energy here. So there is there definitely some type of attraction with someone here that is hot for you that you have been in separation with that this person has been longing for you like there's something that has been keeping you all apart but i'm sorry we got stability harmony and flow like nothing should be able to keep you apart from your true love or anything you full damn grown the person you desire is full damn grown forget all of these damn people and every damn thing else is going on in the world here. So we got present energy here. This speaks to abundance as well as gratitude. Remember to give thanks and appreciation to what you for what you have as well as what you have yet to receive here. Okay, but this is present energy. This is going on in the now, in the moment, today. If not today, very soon, Spirit is saying. Okay, that's what's going on here. Okay, and whoever you are, you could be naturally an introvert. Okay, but you are comfortable with being an introvert, with being in solitude, with being to yourself and by yourself because you have been betrayed so much by so many people. Everybody got motive. You don't know who to trust. Okay, so that's what it is, guys. That's what it is. Spirit, any other messages? Yeah, you're shining very brightly right now. The light is shining on you. It's shining through you. Okay? Yeah. Your heart chakra, you could be healing your heart chakra. Okay? Especially after being heartbroken. These people may have tried to do something to affect your heart chakra. There's a lot of deception and envy as it relates to these people who worked against you. Okay? There's emotional loss and mental conflict as well here. But you're having some type of triumphant success here. Some type of victory. Okay. Yeah. These people working against you, they were in the shadows. They were plotting and planning and scheming behind your back. Strategizing behind your back. And you are in awareness of this. You're in awareness of everything that's going on. Okay. With this accelerated motion, you are moving forward here while these people are chained to the devil. Some type of passion has been ignited in somebody for you. Okay? We got power here. There could even be persons in power or authority who went along with this with your supposed family to do this. This has been coming up very frequently. Okay, I'm so tired of wretched, evil, toxic during families. I don't know what the heck to do. And I know it seems so vague. 
to say this. I'll be like, mm, whatever. When I hear other people say it or whatever. Like so many people, y'all, it's so irritating sometimes. Some of y'all like coming on here that some of y'all that watch tarot videos, y'all like hearing about y'all love life all the time. I think it's totally ridiculous, okay? Because nobody leaves anything up to um you know what I'm saying? Like you wanna allow things to just work out. You know what I'm saying? In your life, like, trying to figure out everything and know everything, especially when it comes to your love life. You know what I'm saying? The element of surprise is gone if you're sitting up trying to always. So, you know, some people, these people who talk about love relationships every fucking day, it gets so fucking annoying okay and only people who really want to hear that shit is people who are involved with other people people who aren't involved in anybody don't want to hear that shit every day you understand what i'm saying i get so damn tired of folks talking about your damn divine masculines and a damn twin flame and then they put they put more emphasis on a damn twin flame than they do the soulmate or your kingdom spouse or your divine counterpart which those are the ones that matter because all this twin flame twin race shit is new age bullshit that was created by humans you know what i'm saying but people nowadays they call themselves being readers they put such a big emphasis on this okay which is completely absurd to me and i'm like i have never seen so many people who are dick sick a day in my life they just they turn into putty you know what i'm saying into the palm of these men's hands because it's like they lose all damn control talking about these men and i don't know honey maybe i ain't never had nothing you know what i'm saying what i'm saying to make me feel like that and don't get me wrong there are some good men in the world the ones of them that are good trust and believe they already taken they already have families and they already have lovely fucking wives okay in this, they, the, the other ones who are single and available, they few and far in between. But I said all that to say this. For, and it's because I'm seeing it here, especially with this Ten of Pentacles being here. I'm seeing the Five of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. You're going from the Five of Pentacles to the Ten of Pentacles. Whoever you are, you're in the Five of Pentacles now because your family uh, betrayed, sabotaged, abandoned, neglected, and left you out in the cold. And left you with a lack of finances, money, and resources. Left you juggling and struggling and scraping and all this other kind of stuff. This person who has this love for you, who wants to be in this partnership and a relationship with you, either y'all are going to be ultra wealthy together or this person is already the fuck wealthy, okay? I usually be like, mm, whatever. When I hear people say, oh, you destined to be your, your, par your person, is this wealthy man? And I be thinking to myself, I'm like, why is they sitting up here lying to these bitches, making them think that, you know, excuse my language, y'all. You know, I ain't nobody calling, I ain't calling y'all that like that, you know, just to be, you know, putting y'all down or nothing like that or whatever. It's just figure of speech. But I, I be like, why is they sitting up here lying to these women? And you got all kind of women all over the world listening to all these different readers. And all of them is randomly telling you that some wealthy man wants to marry you. Is so head over heels in love with you and coming for you. I'm like, uh, first of all, most wealthy men mix and mingle with other wealthy people. Or, you know what I'm saying? Like, how many wealthy men do you know? falls in love with some regular everyday average jane you know what i'm saying who is not even in a tax bracket you know what i'm saying like anything is possible miracles can happen you understand what i'm saying but this would be like shit i don't even know if you could say once in a blue moon you know what i'm saying like it's so abnormal for it to happen even 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 wealthy men who mix and mingle with um uh, ladies of the night if you will these are pro hoes these are hoes who get paid thousands of fucking dollars they, they even the pro hoes is bad okay these bitches look, look gorgeous and their bodies look bad these is bitches who get paid thousands of dollars of like an hour just for hanging out with a wealthy fucking man they don't fuck nothing but wealthy fucking men you understand what i'm saying so just imagine a, a wealthy man's wife is either just as sophisticated or educated as him or just as abundant as him or in the same tax bracket as him or come from uh um uh a very you know have gone to prestigious colleges or come from the prestigious bloodline or a particular family you know what i'm saying and different shits like that it's different factors that you know what i'm saying so i'll be sitting up listening to these readers and they be like oh this wealthy man there's somebody west that that wants you and i'm like when ever you know what i'm saying i don't know how many of y'all have seen diary of a mad black woman but i've mentioned it to you all 
before, okay? <laughs> you see how what she said, she was just a little old simpleton woman. You know what I'm saying? She might have been a waitress or something. She even had a job. I can't even quite remember, okay? But her husband ended up being wealthy. He ended up treating that woman like crap. He was, she was, she, he treated her like she was beneath him and everything. And the first chance he got, every chance he got, he threw up in her face how much better he was than her. And she wouldn't be nothing without him. And she was just a nappy head, nobody in the hood with nothing before he came to fuck along. And the first chance he got, when he got his money up, he went and got him the lightest and brightest woman that he could fucking find and moved her in to the house that he had with his wife, okay? But, the, you know, later the story flipped because he ended up getting injured, and guess what? The little light bright that he degraded his own wife for was nothing but a gold dick and took her for everything he had. That bitch even stole shit that didn't belong to her out that damn house. And guess who did he had to depend on? The wife that he had to, to then beat. And abused and degraded. She was the one that had to come back. He threw that woman out the house. Out the house. On the porch. But it was her who had to come back and nurse his ass back to help. After he got injured and he was paralyzed. It was the more story on Diver Mad Black like, Woman. You ain't never see it. Go and see it. Tyler Perry movie. Anyway. Okay. All I'm telling you is. It's not every day that wealthy Men is out here on the prowl for some regular everyday average Joe as and I'm gonna tell you another damn thing too that these readers, these scripted fake ass readers that's out here, not gonna tell you. Depending on just how wealthy the man is, like first of all, yeah. Depending on how wealthy the man is, because I know some low life or some low level people who are sellouts. There are middle class people who are sellouts, okay? Don't get it twisted. Don't just think when a person gets in a millionaire, billionaire, trillionaire status that they must be a sellout. They are sellouts even before then, okay? You best believe any person that you know who worth that amount of money, they are rubbing shoulders with the elite satanic powers that be, okay? They are mixing and mingling with the wickedness in high damn places, okay? And they are likely to be a part of that shit as well. So all I'm saying is, it's not what you're getting yourself into, but think realistically here, okay? Now, I do clearly see that you are getting some type of justice and you are coming into abundance, Whoever this person is that they want that has this chemistry and passion for you, that has this love for you, uh, that you may end up in a relationship with, that wants this partnership or relationship with you, they may have money too. They may be financially stable and secure or what have you, okay? I click. Excuse me, I clearly see that here. So this is the reason why I'm telling y'all this, okay? But I'm also, on the flip side, telling y'all to think realistically, okay? Cause don't know fairy tale ass shit happen every day in the real world for real people in the damn world. You understand what I'm saying? You would be lucky to get a decent man or woman, whatever you like. You understand what I'm saying? That's that that it that not that's not lazy. That's not crazy. That's got a regular damn job and being the best person they can to you. Okay, and not particularly wealthy. But doing the best they can in the able body that they have, okay? You will be lucky to have that person. Less long, you sitting around doing your thumbs waiting on a wealthy person. Okay? And I be hearing a lot of these damn readers that be lying to y'all. There's absolutely, there's no gender in tarot. What the fuck? Well, what the hell are you? Aren't you a gender? Isn't everybody in the world a gender? If there's no gender in tarot, then who the fuck is tarot talking about? Animals? beastly creatures extraterrestrials there's got to be gender there's gender in the world thus there are, there's gender in the tarot otherwise you wouldn't have kings and queens in the fucking tarot okay 
your pages and, and your knights are the only ones where the gender can go either way. That could be male or female. But your kings and queens is either a man or it's either a woman. There is matter of factly gender in there. I don't know where they read this shit at. I don't know where they have gotten this shit at. It's like everybody, it's like some of these people get like the same scripted ass information and they say the same regurgitated ass bullshit to y'all that is straight up that. BS. If you are a gender... Then there is gender in tarot. If you are using tarot to do a reading for other people who is matter-of-factly a gender, you are either male or you are either female. That is a gender. Now, whether or not you want to classify yourself as what they call male or female, girl or boy, that's your damn business, but you are still a gender. Thus, there is gender in tarot. Stop letting people lie to you and feed you regurgitated bullshit. That don't make sense. If there's no damn gender in tarot, then who the fuck are you talking about? As a matter of fact, what gender are you? They'll tell you there's there's no gender in tarot and then tell you, oh, uh, be like, she hating on you. He cheating on you ain't she and he fucking gender ain't your kids agenda ain't your parents agenda and your people in your family agenda folks you work with agenda your neighbors are a gender they are a gender classification now however the fuck you carry yourself now if you listening to the message and you someone who is more so feminine then maybe the feminine aspect of the person that I'm talking about pertains to you. I don't have time to go through all your damn pronouns if I'm doing you a reading. You know whether or not you are male or female, but you are one or the other. However you feel about yourself, baby, and I'm not here to tell you who the hell to be. Okay? Now, if you was born one damn thing and you have chosen to be another damn thing, that is your business. I'm not here to argue with you the hell about it. It's your life. But if I am doing you a reading, there is matter-of-factly gender in tarot. Whether you identify with that gender or not, flip it if you want to. That's your business. I'm not going to argue with you about it. But what you're not going to do is tell me that there is no gender in tarot. Where did you read that at? Where does it say that? Where did you get that information from? Because it's nowhere. And these are the same people that be talking about God and different things like this and that and the other. Uh, if God created both males and females and there is gender in the world, then there is gender in everything. Now, whatever gender you classify yourself as, that's perfectly fine. Now, I see a feminine energy here. If you are not, if you, if you are a masculine, more in tune and in touch with your feminine side, this may be a reading that you resonate with. But I'm going to matter-of-factly tell you that I see a feminine energy here. So this could be for a feminine energy. There are women who come off as more masculine because they are dominant. So if something comes out and I matter of factly tell you this is a masculine individual, you may identify with this reading. But what I'm not going to do is tell you that there is no gender in tarot. If, if there's no gender in tarot, that means that you are not a gender. And there's matter of factly genders in the world. Either you have a penis or you have a vagina. If we were no gender, we wouldn't have neither one or either we would have both. Silly ass. Anyway. We got triumph at the bottom of the deck. Okay. So, I feel like you're going to triumph in some type of way. In spite of this betrayal. This disloyalty, this sabotage, this ruin, this endings that these people want to call you. You being stabbed in the back by multiple persons. 
okay? Somebody is on the people closest to you try to entrap you for money. Is what's going on here. And they're furious. They're mad because this will of fortune is in the upright and it's turning in your favor. What pisses me off about this energy is you may be somebody that ain't never had nothing in your life. And in a glimpse of a second or a blink of an eye, there is something for you. Everybody is in competition to take it from you. That don't make no sense to me. And in the whole time while you had nothing, you was cheering for those of them who had something. When other people around you got married, you was happy for them. When other people around you had love and support and understanding and guidance, you was cheering them on. When other people went to college, you was proud of them. When other people uh, 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 got a home, had a nice car, had a nice job, you was in support of them. And throughout that entire time, you had nothing, near nothing, or the bare minimum of anything. And they loved you in that energy. While they smeared in your face the fact that they was better than you, that they had more than you. While they played up in your face and act like they was for you when they wasn't. But the moment they got the bullets in the memo, the message... That there was something for you. They all tag team partnered together. To work against you. To take it from you. How dare they. You mean to tell me. That everything that is, that is wonderful. That is lovely. That is righteous. That is upstanding. That is happy. That is abundant. That is fulfilling. That is joyous. That is kind. Is good enough for you. But it's not good enough for nobody else. I don't get that. When other people got pregnant and had babies and things, you supported them. You loved them. You was happy for them. You didn't dare hate on them or their children. You got people who are attacking your children. They jealous of your children. You got mothers and grandmothers in, in, in competition with their daughters and granddaughters because you better mothers than they ever was to you or your children. That's pathetically sad and ridiculous. But that's what's going on here. Some type of judgment and decision has been made. You will be receiving some type of justice. This will is turning in your favor. You still have your guards up and you are very much uh, uh, defensive as you should be against these people that you know have been working against you. You, 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 you have on your full armor in an effort to protect yourself. You have clear vision. You're making wise decisions. You know what direction you are going in and you are moving forward. But there is somebody that is that is nearing closer and closer to you who wants some type of partnership or relationship to you it is quite suspicious to me that they're lingering along down here at the end like it's like they're sitting and waiting for you to come into this abundance for 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 them to come in like, and whoever this person is, they're grounded, they're stable, they're secure, and different things like that, or whatever, they obviously must be well-to-do, because there's even jealousy, envy, hatred, and spice, spitefulness, and competition here for whoever this person is that wants this partnership relationship with you. But it's like, while you're not in their tax bracket, or on a, a certain level, or at a, a, a higher echelon, they can't come in and be with you. But when you come into some type of abundance, then it's suitable. You you are then suitable enough for them to be with. What type of shit is that? Hmm. But perhaps that's the way love goes. Hmm. 
That concludes y'all's reading, guys. I do hope that this is giving you the truth and the clarity that you were seeking pertaining to a situation that you are dealing with or pertaining to a situation that you know someone else is dealing with. Um, for those of you who are cross-watching, for any person who is interested in contacting me, you can do so at tiff.diamond.36 at gmail.com. You can also follow me on Instagram, which is shine bright like a diamond 36 with the underscore between each word. For any person who is interested in donating to the channel, it is greatly, greatly appreciated. I do thank you all in advance. You can do so through Cash App, which is dollar sign tiff diamond 36 or through PayPal, which is paypal.me slash at 36 diamond. As always, guys, take care of yourselves, take care of each other. But most of all, take care of your baby, honey. Remember, this is a wicked, wicked world that we live in. There is wickedness in high places and there is evil that's lurking around each and every corner, even in a neighborhood near you. So y'all watch your surroundings. Watch the company you keep. Watch surroundings in the company in which your children are in as well. And considering the fact that you never know when someone may betray you, backstab you, try to hurt you or harm you, honey, keep you some protection on you. Y'all stay awake, stay aware, stay vigilant, and stay prepared because if you stay ready, you ain't got to get ready, baby. Until the next time, peace, love, and length. Namaste. I am that I am created in the image of God. Real quick, guys, with this power being here, whoever this is, that wants to be in some type of partnership or relationship with you, if this person has some type of power or authority or leadership position or they work for the government, baby, you better be skeptical of that. Because I wouldn't be surprised if the powers that be then sent they ass for you. He might be smooth on the cup. He might be a smooth criminal on your ass. Okay? Y'all better watch. Till the next time, peace, love, and light. Namaste.